The S24 Ultra screen is pretty magical whenever it comes to a lot of different things. Gorilla Glass Victus Armor, and it has the anti-reflective properties in it that make for less screen glare, less reflection, and I like it. I'm a big fan of it, and Samsung finally kind of gave us a little bit of insight into the magic behind it and to what makes it so special. So the glass that goes on the screen is made by Corning. Like, they make Gorilla Glass. They made this Gorilla Glass Victus Armor, and... I've been pretty impressed with it. The things that I've seen on it, it does seem to hold up a little bit better from micro abrasions compared to the last generation. But the biggest thing is the anti-reflective properties that it has. So I, I thought it was a coating. I thought it was a coating at first, but apparently it's built into the glass and they use this special technique to make it happen. Let me read this because I can't remember all of it. So apparently what they do is they use a uniform plasma in an argon-filled chamber to deposit nanometer thick layers into the glass. So this is like, I don't know, molecular level stuff. They're doing some crazy things as they make the layers of the glass. And apparently this is built into the glass, but this process also makes it stronger and does all those great things too, the way they make it. And it gives us this 75% reduction in reflection and glare on the screen and one thing that's neat too if you bought one of the cases like i bought this case from samsung from my knowledge at least the two cases i bought they come with an anti-reflective or anti-glare screen protector a two-pack inside the box with it for free so if you bought one of the cases then well then you lucked out and you got that as well but i think that was important for them to do that why because most screen protectors they still are just like normal glass they reflect a lot of light so it would be kind of sucky if you went out and you bought the S24 Ultra. You got this cool screen with the anti-reflective properties, but you wanted to protect it. And then you put the screen protector on and you find out, oh, I'm missing out on one of the best features of this new screen. You got this big new screen. It's flat. A lot of people like that. 2600 nits brightness. It's crazy bright outside. And like the icing on the cake is the anti-reflective property. So yeah, if you put on a regular screen protector, you're probably not going to see those benefits Maybe you care, maybe you don't, but I'm using the anti-reflective one that came with it, and I got to say, it still works really, really well. And there's a lot of controversy around this before, because when we had the, when the phone first came out, like the first month it was out, a lot of people were complaining that the screen looked a lot less vivid, and people were blaming that on the anti-reflective properties in the screen, and that simply was not the truth. The issue was with the panel itself and the way that it was tuned so that it would represent colors the way that Samsung, they took this new approach to make everything look more natural, kind of similar to what iPhone does with their phones. And I got to say, I still have mine set that way. I have not changed mine to the super, vi super vivid mode that you can do inside the display setting. So if you are unaware of this, just for like an educational lesson while we're here in the video. So we go to your settings, then we go to display, and then you go to screen mode. So when you tap on screen mode, you'll see this big color picture here. You've got a couple of them, so you can kind of see how things go when it comes to changing the settings. But down here, you can go to advanced settings, and then there's a slider down at the bottom for vividness where you can change it all the way over to the right and make it more vivid. That's supposed to make it like the S21 Ultra screen, which apparently is the gold standard for vividness. If you put it in the middle, it's supposed to be like the S23 Ultra, and then I keep it to the left, which is the way that this screen is nat it's naturally tuned. So... I like it. I like that you have those customization options, but I was reading this morning. I'm like, that's pretty cool the way that they did this. So again, yeah, they, they've done some crazy thing where they use a uniform plasma in an argon filled chamber to deposit those nanometer thick layers. And, and what it does, they said it creates a tiny one way dispersion layer. So what happens is the dispersion means when the light hits it, it, it like absorbs it and spreads it out. It doesn't just bounce back off it. And that's typically what glass and a lot of these glass surfaces do. When light hits them, it just bounces back off of them. So when you're looking at it, you're getting the glare and, and varying degrees depending on how the glass process was made. But because it absorbs it and it disperses it, it creates that 75% reduction in glare and reflectiveness. So basically the way to design the screen with the properties is when the light hits it, it kind of scatters it and it disperses it instead of sending it back to you, which gives you that better look. And that gives you that reflective property in the glass, which I, I like it. I hope that more phones can do this in the future. And especially me, whenever I'm trying to do work outside, sometimes I'm doing a phone review, I'm trying to capture a screen. Sometimes there's a lot of glare. Sometimes you're looking at it and there's a lot of glare. Thankfully, the really bright screens have kind of helped alleviate some of these issues in certain environments because before... If you had a dim screen and you had reflections, like you can't even see your stinking phone screen when, when you're out and about, right? So 
I'm great. I'm grateful for this technology. I think that it's cool. And I just wanted to take a minute so I could tell you about how it works and what they've done with it because I think it's pretty cool. And I think it's one of the nicer features that we got with the upgrades on this phone. Yeah, we got the titanium, the flat screen, all that stuff. I didn't really care about the about the titanium or the flat screen, but I do care about this anti-reflective coating that they built in so that it makes a nicer experience whenever I'm using it outdoors, especially in conjunction with that 2600 nits brightness. It makes for something pretty special. So that's all I got. Just a short little education lesson today about your S24 Ultra. And this only applies to the S24 Ultra. We don't have that special Gorilla Glass Victus armor in the S24 or the S24 Plus. So I'd imagine next year when we get the S25, it'll probably be in the S25 and the Plus and the Ultra. But this is one of those features they've let out from the front and only put it in the Ultra. It's basically the only phone that you can get it in right now. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a nice, neat, novel feature that they have. And I think it actually works really well with the screen protector too. I mean, this is the, the reflective anti-reflective screen protector and you can see it's pretty it's pretty good there. Let me see. So this is this right here is the Pixel 8, right? So we got the Pixel 8, and you can see how it catches the light right there. And I'll show you now with the S24 Ultra. Look how much more dim that looks. It really takes a lot of the sharpness out of it, it takes a lot of the brightness out of it. And yeah, it's still there. Like it's not like it's invisible or anything, but if you take a look at that. That, that's pretty good. Like You look at this, and then we look, oh, I need three hands, and then you look at this. So, yeah, I, this, is the, this is the screen protector, too. This isn't even the screen, and the screen, I believe, is even better than the screen protector that they put on here. So, pretty neat stuff. I like what they've done there. Anyway, again, I just wanted to give you all like a brief little education lesson on this to talk about it because I thought it was cool, and one thing I like to do here is when I find some cool things to help you better understand the technology that you're carrying around. Well, consider yourself educated, <laughs> or at least educated to the extent that I could. I, I know that it's probably a little bit more detailed in the in-depth process for how that stuff works, but hey, 75% reduction, and we know that it's anti-reflective. They got a special process that helps disperse the, the light whenever it hits the screen. Cool. That's all I need to know, and hopefully that's good enough for you all. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please, of course, go to the comment section, and I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoy the Samsung content, you come to the right place, hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.